Tara Gittens is a name on everyone's tongue these days. She's dominating the back pages, ripping up long-standing records, and taking Texas A&M University to different heights on the American circuit, the NCAA to be exact. And while she's quickly becoming a household name in Trinidad and Tobago, she's not our first heptathlete. That title belongs to Marsha Mark Beard, who talked to us about Gittens' rise to stardom. Before there was Tyra Giddens, there was Marsha Mark Beard, Trinidad and Tobago's first heptathlete. This is her in a 2015 story with ABC4 Utah. She was on the journey of qualifying for her third Olympics. She competed at Sydney 2000 and Athens 2004. There's no way I could even make the Olympics now. Now, two decades after her leap at the highest level, TNT's next step athlete has announced herself to the world, Tyra Giddens. And Mark Beard couldn't be more excited to see where Giddens goes with this. She's very humble. Um, I don't think she has any idea like what she's capable of. She is going to be amazing. All the national records that Giddens has been smashing, those records belong to Mark Beard. And in Utah, where she lives, Mark Beard says Giddens is grabbing everyone's attention. Everyone that has seen her compete, that I know here in Utah, comes back and tell me she is just Amazing, they've never seen an athlete like that. And with Giddens' rise to stardom, Mark Beard says Trinidad and Tobago will rise with her. She's going to smash a lot of records. I mean, she's going to do amazing. And it puts us out there because the heptathlon, I mean, that's seven events in the Olympics, right? And that's a lot of coverage for Trinidad and Tobago, Trinidad and Tobago, you know, um, over and over and over for different times during that the, the Olympics. In fact, Mark Baird feels Giddens is capable of breaking records set by the legendary Jackie Joyner Kersey. But it also goes much deeper than that. According to Mark Baird, Giddens' rise can inspire a generation of athletes. For me and her, if we can teach these athletes that, yes, in the heptathlon, you just have to be um, above average in some events and like really good. So like if you're a good sprinter and a good jumper, you can be an excellent heptathlete because you can learn everything else. And while the Texas A&M star has already made the qualifying mark for the long jump for Tokyo 2020, Paris could be her peak. The next Olympics is probably the one where she will just soar because she will be more mature. She will not have the, the stress of college um, and, and studying and all those things. Um, and so she'll just be free to focus on just her, her events. The heptathlon event doesn't consist of a relay event. But let's just say Marsha Mark Beard handed the button to a safe pair of hands.